my friends, Melissa Curry, Dream Life Total Wellness. I am here today. First of all, Scott and I, um, what we sent out an email to let you know that our class on Monday that we're that we were hosting at the San Pascal Winery will be now from our kitchen to yours. So it's a live class. We're going to be doing a lot of those, and I sent out the ingredients on the bottom. So those of you that want to go out and get the ingredients and pre-prep them, register on our website, Dream Life Total Wellness, and you can cook along with me. So what I'm going to do for you today, this was something we were working with Dr. Dan Rogers from the Gerson Plus Institute. Gerson Therapy. He actually, we were doing a class today, and um, well, because of everything that's unfortunately going on with the, the virus, we were not able to hold that class live. However, I do have the ingredients ready to go. So this is going to be a delicious baked ziti. Those of you that know me Scott and Scott, we've lost a bunch of weight recently, and part of the things we've done is we cut out carbs and we cut out wine. Not all the time, but most of the time. So what I'm doing with you today, I'm starting out and I've pre-made the sauce. I'll cover that in a moment, but I'm going to use Beyond Meat patties. So those of you in the Salad Master world that you have your Salad Master cooking equipment, you'll see that you're going to be able to do these from frozen to finish. So I've got my frozen to finish. I love it because you can go down to Costco and you can buy these Beyond Meat patties in packs of, there's eight total and you can get them for um, half the cost of what it would be if you went to Sprouts or somewhere, okay? So, I love to cook with Beyond Meat. I think it's delicious. I know there's many of you out there that agree with me, but, so I'm gonna start out, and I've got my pan preheating over here. I'm gonna move you a little bit this way so you can see what I'm doing. And all you need to do, I've been preheating it onto medium. To test to see if it's ready to fry in, all you do is you simply drop the water in and it bounces like a BB, okay? So you can see it kind of rolling around in there, yep. So that is ready for my Beyond Meat patties to go in, yes? Frozen, okay? So I'm just gonna drop those in there and I want it to turn into a crumble, okay? But now what I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add in my onions. Beyond Meat has a lot of oil, I found. So I don't really need to add any extra oil when I'm cooking, okay? So I've got my onions in there, my Beyond Meat, and I'm just gonna kinda crack that and let it do its thing. Ooh, those are some good onions. Onions are a great anti-inflammatory food. In fact, I went online and I was researching what foods can boost your immune system. And when I looked at all the ingredients that popped up, ginger, garlic, onion, I thought immediately, Indian food. So I have an Indian food cooking class that's to help boost our immunity. And we may do it live and or it may be um, at the Pascal Winery. So we'll keep you updated. So I've got a beautiful cauliflower. Doesn't that look like a brain, right? So food resembles the part of the body that it helps. So this is actually good brain food. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna move this over here so you guys can see what I'm up to. And I'm simply going to cut it into steaks. About, how big would you say that is? A half an inch, Scott? Half an inch steak, okay? You could take them and you could crumble them. Um, either works, right? If you're feeding a bunch of people this dish, I might crumble them up and turn them into little florets. So I'm simply going to take this, and the pan is also hot. I've been preheating it onto 400 degrees. You can see that there, 400 degrees, okay? Plug that back in. Okay. Then, that's hot. Then we're gonna simply take our cauliflower steaks, and I haven't done anything. No oil, no nothing yet, and I'm simply going to just throw them in there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna top them with just a little bit of avocado oil. What do you want me to do, Scott? Cut that one, too big. Nah, it's okay. You said cut that one, it's too big. Sure, I'll cut that one for you, dear, it's too big, but it's going to crumble. Okay, you'll use that one. There we go. Okay, so we've got that in there, and then my chosen oil that I wanna turn it crispy in. I'm simply going to put some avocado oil over the top. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip them. This is how I would also braise my Brussels sprouts. Right? I would do this for, um, what else do we braise? I've done it with um, asparagus and it's a squash, butternut squash that's cubed. It turns out beautiful. So I've got that going and I've got that going. And all I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to crack the cover, and that's going to give me a nice braise on there. So, gosh, that was really simple and easy. Now, I made the sauce in advance because I wanted the sauce to kind of marinate. But the sauce is simple. I'm going to post this on the site so you guys will have the recipe. I simply took a, um, a, a, a four-quart roaster, and I put onions that I sauteed in there and garlic. And then I added to that a 28-ounce can of crushed tomatoes. I put that inside. And then what I did was um, we cooked that together, and I put pepper flakes in it with some, let me see, I've got the recipe here, pepper flakes in it. Um, I also added some onions, tomato paste, that kind of thickens it up. Now, if you were doing this recipe with meat, then you could add the meat to that. I think when I cook with my Beyond Meat that I like it to be a little stiffer than cooking inside of the sauce. So what I do is I actually add the Beyond Meat at the very end with the sauce and kind of marinate it together for a short amount of time, okay? So really what's gonna happen is we're just gonna sit here and wait for these. It takes about eight minutes for them to kind of get a nice brown color, okay? Um, let's see, let's do that. So, oh, oh, this, oh, I forgot that I did this. This is so exciting. Okay, so the first time in baked ziti, when you think of baked ziti, it's pasta, and then it has ricotta, and then they put meat and cheese, right? So the cauliflower substitutes the pasta, and I thought, well, for my plant-based friends, how do we get rid of the cheese, okay? So I made a cheese, and one of my dear friends, Peg Lieb, she gave me this recipe. And it was the easiest thing in the world to do because I thought making cheese would be hard, but it's super duper simple. So all I did was I took some raw cashews and I, I boiled a cup of water. So a cup of cashews, a cup of water. I put them inside of this beautiful bowl that keeps hot things hot and cold things cold. And I put hot water over the top of it and I let it sit for 20 minutes. And then what I did was I strained that out and I took my food processor and I added the cashews. I used nutritional flakes. Right? I took garlic powder and I added salt because all cheese really is, is salt, fat, and some and, and, um, and flavor, right? So then that called for, you could add anything to it. You could add smoked paprika or anything. And I just took it, I blended it up. If you want it smoother, you add more water, but it turned into this beautiful consistency, I'll be right back, that looks just like ricotta cheese. Now, if this is a little more orange, but I want you guys to see this texture that I have going on here. See, yeah, it's so, so, it turned out so good. I don't know if you can see it. It's just really different. I'm just gonna, oh, man, that's delicious, right? So, I'm going to use that in our baked ziti dish today. So, let me see how my patties are doing. Oh, those look really good. Let me show you guys. I'll turn this over here. Just so you can kind of see what's going on there. Let me get a spatula. Okay. And let's see. Oh, those are coming along quite nice. So those you saw were rock hard frozen. So now all I'm doing is I'm going to just kind of break them apart a little bit. Okay, I got my onions going. You could buy it crumbed, but to me it's $10 a packet crumbs. So I, I think that I, I like to even just take the patties even more cost effective maybe it's about the same about seven dollars if you do it this way so i take it and i got it and you can see it looks just like meat it tastes amazing so there see that okay and so then all i'm going to do is i'm going to add to this the marinara that we pre-made and i'm going to let it kind of marinate together and get some delicious flavor going on so that meat is ready yes those of you who own salad master you can use metal utensils in your pan just don't cut it with a knife right so then let me get my ladle and all i'm going to do is i'm going to take this delicious sauce that we made earlier and put it together okay so i've got it kind of cooking i'm going to stop it to show you i think that's a great idea I have such a smart husband, okay? So see that delicious sauce? So we had that marinating overnight, and then all I'm gonna do is I'm going to ladle some of that beautiful sauce in there. Yum. Woo, did you guys see that? It was as if spaghetti sauce had a mind of its own and it splattered everywhere. That's why you wear aprons. All right, there we go. Think that's enough sauce, dear? Yep, okay, beautiful. 
So that is now just gonna kind of cook together, okay? So let me see, I don't know exactly how long it's been, but let me just, oh man, look at those. Can you guys see that? Those are coming out so beautiful. Wow, I love that. That's a roasted cauliflower. No oven needed to kill the food, dry it out. Beautiful. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Love it. It's got really nice flavor. What do you, what do you need, Jim? Yeah. Stuck up. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Just make sure those are all flat and touching metal. That's what gives you your nice, nice color. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna season them. So I've got the nice color going on. So I'm actually, once I've got the nice color on both sides, I'm actually gonna add the sauce to the top of that with the ricotta cheese and um, cook it all together. So what I'm gonna season with is I've got some garlic powder here, really easily. Just put that over the top. Make sure it gets good and even. Ooh, I've got a little bit of chipotle pepper seasoning. Let me open that up, get that on there. That'll add a nice flavor to it. And then we've got some smoked paprika. I love smoked paprika. <laughs> Put that over the top. Sorry, Nick, my brother-in-law. I know if you were here, I would just leave the garlic out. But since you're in South Carolina and we're here, which one do you want here? A little bit of 21 seasonings to go on the top as well. Okay? So now that is actually ready. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm going to finish it with this, right? I'm gonna dollop that inside. Then I'm gonna take the sauce that I have going over here and we're gonna put that over the top and then we're gonna finish baking it. So that's it, I think, for my cooking dish today. I think I'll also put, put, put some pictures up so you guys can see the end of it. But this is Melissa Curry. Ooh, something in there made me wanna cry. I'm like, <clears throat> Tuesday night we'll be here. Um, we'd like to invite you to join us to cook along. It's going to be from our house to your house. I love it when your producer's over there telling you what to say. But it's 6 p.m. You need to register to cook along and just log on and follow us on the site. That's our breakfast class. We do some scrambled eggs and fried eggs. I'm going to show you how to greaseless fry hash browns. And we've also got a, I'm going to do a green drink for you. It's going to be really delicious. And we've also got a, a keto salmon with a roasted vegetable class coming up and immune-boosting Indian food and 30-minute meals. So look on the website and you can see what we're cooking next and make sure you register. And again, just, you know, guys, it's really important right now. Sanitize, sanitize, keep your immune system up, eat with friends, eat with family, enjoy life. And you know what? What you focus on grows. So be sure to focus on keeping your health high and eating amazing, delicious food. This is Melissa Curry, Dream Life Total Wellness, signing out. Bye for now.